Guitars. Indeed, a croissant. Oh, that's why it's quiet for me. Maybe. Wait. Hello, motherfucker. There we go. Been building in Rimworld all day. Honestly, the building is kind of fun. Oh, hey. Wait, what? What is okay, never mind. I was confused then. My my air timer went all wonky. All kinds of wonky. So I did have fun playing that yesterday. Where is hang on? There. I found a cute project to do for today. Um well, Credit where it's due. Let me just get the uh, picture up here. So what we're doing today is a little pizza adjacent sponsored stream. Whoa, that came in really big. Excuse you. Um. A pizza adjacent cross stitch pattern. Oh, maybe I should have used that picture. Let me just switch over. Uh, I should probably find a link for the pattern too, actually. Yeah. Yeah, that's more indicative of what it does. So this is like a little, um, like the corner of an envelope that goes over a page and it's just like a bookmark. So it's a small project. So I think it's one thing, something we can probably do in one day. Um, as part of our, our little sponsorship thingy with uh, Udi, I haven't opened this yet because it's still 75 degrees in my room. So I'm just hoping the AC kicks on a bit more. <laughs> Actually, let's turn the fan up. Just turned up the fan and turn the temperature down. Um, so we can wear this really Look at this. It's got pizza on it. It's basically the same. See, here's the picture. So we're gonna do a little pizza bookmark. And my, I'm gonna wear the pizza put it in for a bit. And yeah, and then we'll work on the scarf. Also, I posted a video in Discord of Daisy's first wheelchair experience, which went about as well as I was expecting. Uh, as in, it, it was a mess, but she had fun. It, I knew she would just take to it straight away because it's the sort of do doggo she is. Um, but we, we have a few training teething issues to deal with. It was pretty cute. Uh, right.
I was looking for something. What am I looking? Um, so the first thing we need to do is basically go through and match some colors up uh, from my pile of random floss. So I've got the pattern and we've got some fabric and we have small ring. It should be more than adequate for the shape. I think we're going to go for a smaller color fab sized fabric as well. Um, but I do need to set up a check command for the pattern. Didn't think about Oh, I do have a copy of Streamerbot already running. Thank you, Streamerbot. Um, and um oh my why does this look so weird oh here we go perfect Okay. Here. Link. Save. Minimize. I really had a lot of fun playing RimWorld last night. Just sort of letting the the shit happen was entertaining. Testing that. Okay. So there, if someone wants to know what the pattern is, I've got that there. Okay, so first of all, we need to do some color matching. Got the chart here. I think what I'm going to do is paste that into, you know, I mean, I can simplify it a little. Let's just get the here, yeah, let's get this up. Can I do a window capture? Here. Wait, I knew it was one of these. Ah, there we go. Old. I'm not gonna. I don't want to show the whole pattern on stream because that's not my information to share. But we can do. do this as we try to share Let's see okay. all right well there maybe
All right, so we're going to try and match up these colors as well as I can in this big old bag. Easiest to them. Oh, whoops. I didn't think about that. This is fine. All right. So we're looking for, we want some oranges, some reds. It, the color, colors are kind of together on a chunk, kind of. Kind of, kind of. Oh, hang on, webcam is. And bigger. I don't know what are, wait, why is that like that? I don't know water focus and water exposure. All right. So we've got all our goldy colors. Okay. It's kind of tricky without knowing where they all are. Medium yellow, grapefruit yellow. Oh, we've got some variegated yellows here. These are cool schemes, so I feel like this could be here. a second bank well maybe i should pick out the colors that i do know for sure so we've got two greens we've got springtime green and a parrot green i'm pretty sure i don't have either of those colors but it doesn't matter oh these are like kiri greens Oh, hey, I almost have one of those. It's 704. 703. I actually have one of the colors. All right, so springtime green and parrot green, which looks darker. 905. I don't know if I'm going to have any of these. Oh my god, I have 905. Okay. So the greens we have. So maybe I should just look for the actual color codes first. I know some of these aren't right. I'm seven. Maybe. Like seven four no spicy goals seven four two oh I have a seven four two seven four three seven four four. I don't know. Some of these I've just, I'm not going to have. I'm going to try and pull out some colors that match. Kind of match. Yeah. I didn't expect to have any of these, to be honest. Nine seven one. That's even closer. Nine 
909 is that all? That's a pretty good fire orange. Surprisingly don't have a lot of red in here. Ruby red. Oh, I've got this one. Okay. <laughs> this is exciting. Dark hydrangea pink. That kind of like. Where is that? 3731. Three six eight seven. That's kind of close. That's probably going to be the closest I have to that one. So we need 3688 and oh well we have 3689 oh, that'll do for me. And what is that one? Powder pink. Looks like a powder pink to me. What color is that? 818? Oh, not even close. Oh, but lots of three three two six. Out of pink. I think they'll do. I wonder if that was intentional that they've made bright red six six six. Like surely that was the way it was meant to be. H three three four one H E three three four O souls Jar of black somewhere. Okay, medium yellow, grapefruit yellow. Seven three four three and seven. Okay. These are all coats and five. Medium and yeah, honestly, I think these will be fine. What is it used for? Just used for a cheese color. I think we're gonna come back on the cheeses. Jesus. Three eight five three. 
I really need a better way to arrange these rather than just sitting loosely in a bag. Organize a stream. I don't know why the person who I got these from did this to all their floss. Like, cut it so short. It's, it's kind of mind boggling. Is it? 414 is like a grey colour. Alright, I've got grey. 301. Squirrel brown. Righto. Kind of a coppery brown color. Square one, square brown. All right. We're actually doing a lot better than I thought we were. Words. So let's just see. It's the yellows, oranges, and reds. Is there a way to mark? Oh, there is. Okay. Even four two. And four. Three two six. Three oh one. Nine oh five. Three, three, four, close enough to three, three, four, and three, six, eight, nine, also close enough, eight, eight, three, six, eight, seven, oh, wait. Three six eight A three seven three one. Okay, so those are things. Hi, Luna. Welcome to Miss. it's it's this random pile of dmc thread i've got that i'm trying to match to this pet 
Um, and I, I don't really, well, as you can see, I don't really have any organization here. <laughs> it was all kind of organized into color, and then I just tossed it all into a bag. Um, so you know that's fine but i was surprised that i actually have a few of the colors in the chart I did my mask over here yeah <laughs> So I actually have a few of these colors already. So now I'm just trying to find like matches for the other ones. Unfortunately, a lot of it is just uh, a mess. <laughs> a lot of greens. I didn't realize how many actual skeins, full skeins I had. So that's nice. Up there. So I'm mostly looking for reds and oranges. Reds, yellows, and oranges to finish this up. Luna, how are you today? Okay, I'll take that. Just know there's me some colors here. Oh no, well that's rubbish. Tell it to stop that. Say so Dal says stop it. I'm sure it won't help at all. I honestly don't know how to manage this at all. I haven't the fog the foggiest how to It is. This is a bag uh from a bag from that uh bonus mom found in a thrift store a while back. And a lot of it has been cut into half and then tied and braided and tied or into I don't know what. And it's weird. I could. It's so weird though. Like, it, It's such short lengths, which is, I mean, it's going to be fine for what we're doing today. I'm trying to color match as much as I could as possible for this little pattern that I'm going to work on today. Okay. But yeah, surprisingly, a lot of, like, complete skeins are in there. So... We need fire orange and bright red.
What is that? 909? Okay, well that's 9... That's good enough for fire orange, do you think? Or do we want that for bright red? Oh, it all looks very red on stream. Fire orange. Bright red's DMZ color is 666. I kind of love that. Actually, I think we're going to go use this one for the bright red. All right. That for bright red. We're going to use that for fire orange. We're going to use that for dark hydrangea pink. That for powder pink. And we need something for the middle bright pink. Three, six, eight, eight. Do we have a three, six, eight, eight in here? I don't think we do. That one. As long as I distinctive. All right, so the pinks are taken care of. White, I've got close enough. We need two yellows. We need a medium yellow and grape green. Yellow. Ow. <sighs> Which is the bit that kind of tripped me up. Now we've got a couple of close colors, I think. 744 and 743 are the DMC colors for the actual wind chart. I don't know what they are in Hertz and Flat, but we have a 725. Which is closest to medium yellow. So let's use that and then. Seven, we use that one as seven four three. Oh, it's just four three on there. All right. I mean, it's for cheese. I don't think it really matters. Okay, so we have uh, four orangey colors. Three, eight, five, four. Caramel color, and then three oranges. I don't think I've got any three, eight, five, anything in caramel. Guessing these are for the pizza crust. Spicy gold, copper, autumn gold, and caramel. Oh, 
Oh no! I hate it when that happens. A coppery color. So, oh, those two are similar. Okay, maybe we can get a similar thing. But yeah, that's that's future problem. It'll be fine. It'll be totally fine. You've got this. Um. All right, where are these going for? Upside down. Okay, so these are press colors, right? So, circle, T, and diamonds. Are those are just the same color but getting darker and darker for a pizza crust? Oh, so, we got here 434, 435. Eight four, eight two seven eight three. I mean, that's a progression of color that I think will work. And then caramel nine seven seven, which looks like what fire has a thing. It's not a lot of it. Is that caramel, do we think? We want darker. Yeah, that one. Very caramel. Oh, here we go. What about this? Yeah, we'll do that one. All right, one, two, whoopsie. Okay, so we have all the colors. Sorry, but I'm going to message to the thing. All right, let me get this out of the way. Oh, God, it's so much.
Okay, so we have our colors for our pizza. It's a good looking pizza pile. I don't have black on this mess. Wait, oh, this is this is terrible. This is what happened last time. All that organizing, everything just gets dumped in a bag. So honestly, I don't even think. Wait, what is the black for? Awesome. Not olives. Very good. I could probably use that. Hey, Runa. One four is lead gray. Ru Runa, Runa, Eleanor. It's a Runa Ray. Hello. Which which one of these work better? I think that one. All right. We what we we cross stitch in a little pizza, a little pizza. A pizza bookmark. Oh. Today, uh, we are sponsored by Udi. I've just been waiting for my room to cool down before I put it on. So I was preparing the floss. So this is a pattern that I found on uh, on Etsy. And it's like just like a little... Uh, like a corner of an envelope almost, it slips over the page of a book. Seemed like a cute small project. And it has cooled down enough in here that I can on now. Uh, so you were stickering point. Oh, how did your infinity cube go, by the way? Here, um... So this is our... Ooh. This is our booty. It's moved. That's so cool. Well done. So I'm probably going to melt in this because it's quite warm in here, but that's okay. Here, I have my AC cranking. Whoopsie. Uh, but yeah, welcome in everyone who came over with Runa. Hello, hi, I'm Del or Deloria. Um, my pronouns are she, her. I am currently doing, well, I was once a stream for Udi, uh, but I also play Planet Crafter. You're welcome, it's my fault that Runa's playing it too. Oh yeah, what does she think? This is so soft. Should we take that out of the way? This, yeah, you know, let me just get rid of all this extra crap. It's so soft. Brr. Please see. Covered in pizza. So if you drop the pizza, it doesn't matter. <laughs> That's amazing, Bruna. That's so cool. Right. 
Ah, I'm stuck. Okay, here we go. Oh. Ooh, this is cozy. Look at I got pizza on me. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, excuse me, my hoodie is showing. <laughs> Of course you did well. It's very clever. I wonder. We want to do that size. I mean, that's already right there. I don't know how many count stitches per inch that is. Oops. Okay, so it's about 18 stitches, 18 per inch. 18's not too bad. The pattern is made for... Sixteen count. Yeah, go do your post stream wind down. Sounds like a good idea. Do we want to do 18 count or should I try and do 16? I don't think I don't know if I've got any 16. 18 it is. I don't need to see what I'm doing. It's totally fine. <laughs> what is it? The music or me? My voice is scratchy. And you don't hear music. Okay, what about now? Oh, thank you. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh. The nails are pretty great. Yeah, no, prickly's really good. My mic is on. That's so weird because I haven't changed anything. Can you, can you, uh, well, I only have one mic. Um, is it peaking or? Yes. 
if I had the wrong mic selected, it it wouldn't work. Um, well, I can bump the limiter here so it stops getting so high. I I don't know. A vent no a ventilator. I I'm not on a ventilator. Everything looks fine in OBS, so it's probably just a filter. I noticed in my vaults, I think. I did have my AC fan way up. I don't know if that could be it. But that was like just now. And I've just turned it back down. Does sound better? Okay, so yeah, I, I've got my AC like cranked up so that I don't dive. Over. Oh, now you're going to get an echo. Um, 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 testing, testing. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, I mean, I, uh, yeah, I can't really, I can try and dial up the noise yeah. gate, but I don't think there's going to be much, much else I can do with it. <laughs> Um, apparently my mic was sounding real scratchy, but I think it's because I had my AC cranked up. But I have noticed the last few streams that my mic sounds kind of peaky. And the tone's just a bit tinny. Start to sound, starting to sound Australian. <clears throat> but I did have my fan on my AC just like way up, so... It could be a combination of factors. Because the mic is only like a less than a foot from my, my mouth. I could turn the gain down, actually. Oh, shit. Drex has the, like, such a good sounding mic. You don't hear a scratch? Okay. I feel like if if it was if it was too bad, I feel like Buckmar was or you or Molly would have said something. No, I don't. I'm I'm not fixed to wearing this for like a certain period of time. They'll just like just feature it on your stream. Okay. Well, I'm gonna turn up the uh, the fan speed a bit. And we may just have to listen to it. Have a have a bit of a a hiss in the background so I don't melt. Wet? Well, funny you should ask that, but if you would also like to have 
a pizza udi, which by the way is it doesn't matter if you spill cheese on it because you just it's part of the design uh you can click that link which is a tracking link and if you click it it makes me like extra cool um but yeah if you use that code that code is active for like the next 60 days um yeah wait are you saying I, I that's how much extra cool i need wow also also if you are a streamer and you would like to register interest in uh working with udi i do have a link that i can share that they've given but yeah i got this one so that flint has an udi in winter too um, and so to to celebrate you know <laughs> streamers tracks how was how was the 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 bell game i can't remember what it's called was it i keep on wanting to call it bell weather i don't think that's it though i have ice water in here bell right what is a bell weather i don't know where i got that from yes um but yeah if, even if you don't uh aren't in the market for drinking <laughs> it's pizza themed obviously i'm drinking mustard prickly your plan yeah i saw molly say uh that she was gonna join me did it did she also stand on the crafting table i like it because now you can see the colors I'm so glad this is insulated though. It's very interesting. There was one that Oh no, never mind. I already shared the link and you already replied about it. Carry on. I have memory, it's fine. I know what I'm doing. Okay. So I'm I'm gonna make this. This is a like a can I Rona? Um, I don't know why I'm trying to get my finger over the picture. It it doesn't work like that, Dal. It, it, there. It doesn't work. Um so I'm gonna try with my other hand apparently. It's like a little like it's a bookmark that like slips over the corner of the page. I mean, it makes sense in context. And we have these colors. We're going to make a pizza, a pizza bookmark. A pizza bookmark. So what I need to do now. Is. Rewrite which colors I picked for which on the key. Because I changed things, didn't I? And I didn't take note. <sighs> Dell. Okay. Okay, so these were red and orange. They, oh, there are some really cute other ones. I don't, I mean, I don't, I remember the last time I read a physical book. Um. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, hey. Oh, hey, let's change this color to black 
Oh, should I make it? Uh. Go very thrifty with your craft supplies. I admire that. I don't know. Oh god, what have I done? Oh, I wait. Oh, I just went through my ad break again. Fuck's sake. All right. Eight one seven. Is it nine oh nine or six one six? Let's just say it's nine oh nine. No one else is gonna know, it'll be fine. All right. The greens I know were right. The gray I had already. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, three, two, six. We already have that. So I'm just like updating the color chart here to to match. So I can tell what color to do where. So do you th they do you think they're going to do another one? Hi, Sadie. I'm making a bookmark today. Yeah, pizza. It's 74 degrees in my room and I'm wearing an Udi. Everything is fine. Actually, I'm I'm okay right now. I'm not gonna let myself get uncomfortable. I have lots of ice woman, uh, ice woman, uh, ice water, and my AC is blasting. And I am doing the hydrate. And Prickly is really good at making sure I do the hydrate too. So I found this cute pattern. There's a link to it on Etsy. Um, I know this is once a stream, but I also want to give credit where it's due for the pattern. Uh, so that's the pattern I'm doing. It's like this, this sort of slips over the corner of a page, like a, an envelope. Um, I think this will work quite well. Isn't it gorgeous? She's the... Uh, the artist has got a bunch of different types. Void juice is just no mustard. That's totally fair. Prickly, Prickly thought I was drinking mustard, and I can totally see why with the shape of the lid and the color. Mmm, refreshing, refreshing mustard. I totally get it. All right. Seven, four, three is seven, two, five. So I'm just updating the chart to match the uh, color floss that I have. Mm. 
This is from like basically random bits of floss that I've got over time. All right, 782, 783. Uh, okay, so that's seven, eight, oh. They're so cute, these designs. Three oh one. Okay, so we've got our color chart up to date. I see that's such a it's such a cute simple idea. Because you just basically just do it and then you glue it onto felt. Okay. So let's get um, some normal thread and we'll try and measure out a grid on this. Also, if anyone is interested in the game Once Human, which is a new survival MMO, uh, Flint has a bunch of keys from the developer to give away. It's really interesting. I haven't decided if I want to get into it because of the whole MMO aspect. Um, but it's very pretty and it does look kind of interesting. So, got like 20 keys or something. Oh. Oh, also, if you haven't already checked Discord today, there is a video in... One second.
Okay. Also, if I mentioned, uh, the thing goes down to my knees. Um, yeah, as I was saying, there's a, a video in Discord of Daisy's first uh, wheelchair zoom. Oh, you've seen it? <sighs> we see was playing it. Huh. I've missed his streams recently. It's going to take some practice. She just, she totally face planted. <laughs> but she's so adaptable. She's just like, whatever, I'll do it. Fucking let's go. It's really cute. Oopsie. She's, she's heckin' going. She was pooped afterwards. I was pooped. I did the bending over. My Both of my hips were shaking. Um, but yeah, she's, she's just like, as soon as we put her on the harness, so she started doing, like, I don't know how, but she started doing these little, like, bunny hops when she saw the leash because she knows what the leash means and so we got her all strapped into this wheelchair um and i had the leash on her and flint's opening the door and she's just like duh, duh, duh. you know how you get those little like wind up toys that shuffle along the floor she's doing that like zzz, bouncing along the floor and she pulls she pulls so hard the harness doesn't quite fit properly. I need to get some, like, I need to go to the hardware store and see if I can get some strips of aluminium or something. And just, like, get an extension, extension for the back for, I don't know, like, six inches or so on each side just to lift it. Because um, it's just a little, like, the, the angle's a little bit off. Um, and I need to... To an extension across the top of her back because she's wider like all her dimensions now at her butt are so small but her chest is still like pibble size <clears throat> um so we kind of have to do do some adaptation <clears throat> so um, but yeah, it was a it was a success. <laughs> Non-binary. Hi, hi. <laughs> yes. Um. And by six inches, obviously, I mean you know. Why I mean they. Have to be moist? They they do have a wide variety. They don't just have hoodies now. You, there's like sleeping robes. There's they have hoodies now that like zip up the front. Um, I think they have weighted blankets. So I would love to to have uh I don't know like the, one of the zip up ones. But this is the one I got because it's got pizza on it. Pizza. We've just had a pizza themed week. It is super cute. Welcome in, Nom, by the way. I like your name. It's a cute name. All right. So I don't know what our grid is on this fabric. This is 18 count and I'm fucking blind. So we'll see how well this goes. Blind is 
we're not a super buyer, but you know, not not doing great. I think I forgot to put the cross stitch tag in my stream, but that's okay. So let's just say how many stitches is it? Fifty. 50, 55. You know why? Do this. this way and all two three in oh this is gonna be small <laughs> one two three four five Eight. One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, and all right, so that's thirty stitches. I'm tr normally I would start in the middle, but I feel like because it's a quarter circle, I should start in the top corner. Which doesn't really... It, it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't really matter which way I do it. It's going to be a mess anyway. Especially because the pattern isn't, like... No good color here. Like, it's not easy to find the center point. The center point is in, like, a piece of pepperoni. And it's scattered. I'm not doing pin stitches everywhere. The nice thing is a pen like this is going to be really forgiving. Oh no, I got the colors on the cheese mixed up. What am I going to do? It's always just like so intimidating. Like, where the fuck do you start on this? Like, seriously. Wants you to start like seriously right in the middle of a piece of pepperoni. Right there. Well, I guess it's fine. Um, but I think we're gonna have to move start move the same point down a bit. I'm going to do like a a, light, a very sort of loosely basted thread on here with the just a normal sewing thread just so I can count the 10 stitches. Um, but yeah, we found a, it was like $70 on Amazon because she's so close to being between a size medium and a large. Um. So we 
we just went down to the medium size. Figured it's probably easy to scale up. I think I need to move everything. I'm a cow, so like moo or whatever. Oh, she's she's so happy. Oh, hi, Plunky. Does she? I mean, you saw her go for it. She was doing little bunny hops to start as soon as we got her in it and she realized what the deal was. She was just like, fucking let's go. So the Daisy Mobile is, uh, is a go. We need to do some adaptation to make it fit her better. But I had a feeling she would take to it because she's such a relaxed dog. Uh, but I'm very, very pleased that She's taken to it so well. You know, let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sparkles. She's such a goofball. We we let her back in and she was just like, she's pooped. <laughs> Poor little bugger. Four, five, we got her, um, why did that not work? Oh, it did? Oh, okay, I was just, I just missed it. Is that the grid setting at top? One, two, three, four. I was looking at the pizza. Yeah, I'm just getting getting my grid laid out here. I'm going to spend all my time figuring out how to lay it out. Oh, so that's still a decent size. Time to drink the mustard. Yeah. Mmm. Yummy. Hashtag not sponsored by French's mustard. Only Udi today. My, it cracked me up in their video how she like, she just like goes down the room and then she just like hears off at a 90 degree angle and face plants onto the ground. And then she literally just stands up and like shakes her head and carries on. Like that's just, that's just what she's like. Like if anyone was anyone else who's met her, she's just so like all right. <laughs> Let's go. She's so adaptive. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I think I'm just going to start from the top corner. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're, st we're still having problems with her feet. Um, five, six. And um because she does sadie and em got her some very cute shoes and they did help because because she's dragging her back feet behind her they kind of her knuckles were getting scraped out um and I, I was trying to keep a close eye on them so i was like washing her feet often and i had some like baby cotton baby socks that i'd put on under the shoes madam decided that 
Shoes make good chew toys. Um, but also, uh, her foot became part of the chew toy because she doesn't have uh, full feeling. So she kind of chewed it, yeah. So now in the video, you can see one of her feet's bandaged. So I, I've been, it's, it's not like really bad, but I noticed, like I was trying to keep it clean and I noticed we're getting flies out there. I didn't want her to get fly blown. Sorry if anyone's got a weak stomach. This is my baby. This is my dog we're talking about. Um, so I've been putting like nonstick gauze pads on there with, uh, and triple antibiotic cream and then using like an ace bandage every day and like putting a fresh bandage on there. Today I got some of this stuff. Um, and I've also got a bottle of liquid band-aids that I'm going to use. It is, it is bungy. Um, which I think will work better than the bandages and let air get to it so it can actually heal. <sighs> but it's a, it's a this nursing a, a paralyzed dog thing for a, it is a, a lot of work um and we've also blocked off access into the pen and just accepting because she's now incontinent um accepting that that's just the way it is so the plan is now we know the wheelchair works basically we're gonna feed her give it time to digest and then take her for uh, a little spin to kind of, you know, get that poop processed. And that way she won't me make a mess up on the deck so I don't have to like sp scrub it every day. It's a, it's a lot of physical, and to be honest, it's a lot of emotional labor as well. Four, five, six, seven, eight. But she's, she you can see though, she still has so much drive and excitement and curiosity. So it's worth it. So that's like 50. Right? 10, 20, 30. No, that's not. That's 40. Jeez, this is an. Imagine how big this would be if it was done in the 16 count that it said. But it'd be to scale almost. This is eighteen count. Hello. Hi, Echo. So I could probably shuffle everything, honestly. Am I not turtly enough for the turtle club? Hello. Hello, hello, hello. This is everything is fine. That that frog that I saw uh, the sorry, the frog, the uh, that turtle was so cute. And I was like, oh, I've gotta send a picture to Echo and Flynn's like, uh huh. Yes, dear. We love our MB friends. Here we go. We have everyone covered. <laughs> this is like bingo. 
You're still working at Jesus. All right. It was like, instead of redoing the pin count, I could just, you know, move the fabric a little. All right, so these are grid of 50 by 50. I think I know some Ennies, but I don't know any of the other pronouns. I don't know how to pronounce. Fuck me, I can't see. Okay, there we go. Damn it! Fingers, please. Z Z. Oh, that's interesting. I did find out that there is a gender neutral sir. Oh, look at you go, Echo. Oh, very efficient. I need to do that too, actually. We've got like, I don't know how many bottles of solidified onion powder. That shit doesn't stay fresh in Florida at all. Not even vaguely. Hey, my hands are just not working today. Hey, my chat isn't scrolling anymore. I just completely missed things. Um. Oh no. Of course I want to hear a fun thing. Novelty hot cocoa that expired in 2015. Perfect. Whoopsie. Tell me, tell us the fun thing. Yeah, garlic powder, onion powder always turn into like a brick. We get to use it once and then that's it. It's had it. So now instead of using garlic powder and, and salt in the recipe, I just use garlic salt. That's so cool, Sadie. You know what? 
what I noticed the other day without me prompting a certain flint person is using the uh, Twitch pronouns extension. He has set his pronouns. I'm so proud of him. It may not seem like much, but he's actually using pronouns. It's super cool. Toasty friend. It is great. I explained to like I've I've sort of explained to think to him how it's important things. He's so, he he enjoyed your visit. He enjoyed your visit for your company, but I think he also enjoyed your visit because he saw how happy it made me. So it was a twofer. A twofer hoofer. Um, but I, I sort of ex explained like the pronoun thing to him. It's, it's not just, uh, yeah, he he still hasn't figured out the correct pronouns for people, but he's trying. Um, but I also explained to him it, in the in the Twitch verse, you don't know from someone's screen name, so why would you not use a tool that can help you identify people properly and help? people identify you the way you want to be identified and he was like oh <laughs> it's like it's inclusive sorry i'm very pleased but yeah he has he's he's got a soft spot for put put exactly I don't I don't know that we'll ever get him go introducing himself with his pronouns. But he understands. That is true. Honestly, I think there was a point there where if we if we'd had the means to do so, we would have gone in uh grabbed put out of the situation they're in put put is best bean right This all feels very unnecessarily finicky, but it will make life so much easier for me. I love that everyone's just like, tell your pets, I love them.
Damn it. For that. Oh, is that is that the trick, Sadie? Yeah. Needles. I don't know why I'm having so much problem like holding on to shit right now. I don't need to keep this in here. I just need it so I can get started. I curry and shrimp. You can have my share. Oh, boo. Laundry. That's rude. Man, my fingertips are just not cooperating today. All right, that'll do. Right. I dropped my needle in here. Dang. Oh, I did. Here it is. There we go. I got it. I'm trying to decide how much I want to do tomorrow. Like trying to find a needle on a pen stack. I see what you did there. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to pin that. Feel free to click that link. Uh, every every click makes me exponentially cooler. That's uh, true facts. We're like an hour and a half, two hours into stream, and I haven't actually started stitching anything. All right. Yeah, that's true. All 
I don't, to be honest, I don't normally put this much prep work in. All right, I'm just going to start in the top corner because it makes sense to me. I don't think I'm going to bother using... Um, I've got my, my stand set up, but I don't think I'm going to bother with that. Twenty <clears throat> fifteen. It isn't even the century, is it? No, oh, okay, Brickley. Have a good evening. Oh, good. I'm glad you enjoyed. Make sh make sure, please make sure you you can't remove it to cancel. Um, it did. It absolutely did. A hundred percent. But yeah, make sure you you get it cancelled. Perfect. Yeah, these sponsored streams that Flint and I have been doing have helped a lot, actually. <clears throat> oh, yeah? I wish those food places would let you use EBT. Because when it's cheaper to use a food service, but you, you know, it's kind of a bit weird. Because you can't get food that cheap. Like, you just can't, especially when it's fresh produce. I mean, I understand why. Well, no, I don't. I'm just trying to be not close minded about it. It's just frustrating. Alright, where do we we're starting? It it is, yeah. <clears throat> Though I know like you have to pay to be as a vendor, you you have to pay, I think, to be incl included in the system. There we go. Perfect. All right, so we're starting off with seven, eight, oh. <clears throat> I'm like, oh, I don't want to do pin stitches. I don't know what is going on here. To be honest, I don't even think I can do stitches. Yeah, that is bizarre. I genuinely don't know what is up with my hands today. All 
correct. So we're going to start with the dark color going diagonally down the middle of the slice and that will give me an anchor point for everything else. Uh, let's get rid of the cropping. And instead we're going to apply a filter. There. And then, I don't know how I did this last time. Thank you, Echo. Oh, wait, yes, I do. Are you at a pizza glow? Yeah. There we go. An outer pizza glow. On um, spoon flour. Eh. Okay, there we go. Now y'all can see what I'm doing. Which is better than me, because I can't see what I'm doing. This is true.
<laughs> that, that is a uh, perfect perfect yeah that i can confirm that mine are in fact quite hot right now okay i think we need to turn the the light down a bit on this Bit glary. Oh, you know what I just realized? Oh, God. Luna, why didn't you remind me? My needle minder. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to take a break. I'll see you soon. Hey.
right, we're back. And uh, slightly less festooned in fuzz than before. All right, let's just move there. But a bit, bit more movement now. God, this 18 count is so small. For me, anyway. Realize the camera needs to be. Zoomed in a little. Zoom focus. Oh, oh, is that it? Oh, well, that's better. That, that, my, the, the audio is very comfy, but it's too hot for Florida. It's, tr it's too hot for Florida at this time of year. I still feel really fucking fancy with these nails. I'm so fancy. I don't I don't know how long I'll keep them on for. Oh, I saw the prettiest flower today. I think it was an iris. Oh. When you open your camera and it's in selfie mode. Isn't that pretty? I think it's an iris. Here's the trail. Not sure. Very pretty though. We saw them going into lunch and Flynn's like, do you want to get a picture? I'm like, no, I'm going to wait until afterwards. Well, I, I don't know. I don't think. I don't think that's a thing. It, it, gardening and home repair are important things to know when you're in your own home. Do you follow? Do you wait? I don't know if you have Instagram or not. But the really good source of information on Instagram is Mercury Stardust, the, the trans handyman. She's fucking amazing. Oh, 
a lot of the tips that she teaches are things that I've learned from my granddad, but they're very cool. Toast, your friend. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Yeah, I was so... It was amazing. She did, like, this really cool thing. Yeah, she's she's every, pretty much everywhere now, but... Great stuff. And she has the coolest makeup as well. Oh, God. Come on, fingers. You can do it. Is the music audible now? I didn't check, and now I'm stressing about it. Shit. It is, it's quiet, but okay. As long as it's there. I'm using the, uh, the, the VOD track thing. Funny because I the the idea of just like my voice with nothing else going into the void is weird and uncomfortable. Why did I think this is a project that I could do in one day? How unrealistic is that? Might take me months too. I don't know that reference. Oh, I can drink my coffee now. I'm no longer ensconced in fleece. Hmm. Well, this is like really small stitches too, for me anyway. One, two, four, five, six, seven, sixteen. Man, it's gonna be really hard to keep track of where I am on this one. Maybe I. Oh, oh, I know. I think I got the chart. Oh God, what have I done? Okay, it's fine. Stop stressing. It's totally fine. I've got the chart with the color symbols and no color. Black and white with symbols. There we go.
it's harder to read, but I can mark off where I am easier. Because now I can take like that, like that. Blip, blip, blip. Mix it with bigger dots. Please. Oh, but not that big. Like that. There. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and I think I counted sixteen. So I need to undo one stitch. I mean, or you could just hang out with me. I want, I want my. Probably need to go back. Those are a bit big dot wires. I can't see what's under them. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh no, it is the right number of stitches. Wait, is it? Fuck, no, I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah. I have a lot to do tomorrow. I think I might just go on strike. No one will notice if I don't do it. The only one who notices if I don't do the chores is me. <laughs> there honestly that pizza party of flints on friday night i was exhausted by the end of it <laughs> it I, I mean i literally only made three small half pizzas but i was pooped by the end of it so it did like all the graphic stuff and then i was trying to like i don't know drum up support i it wasn't that much it wasn't a lot but it was it wore me out it done tuckered me out oh look it's so tidy on the back it pleases me Okay, so it started. You know what? I'm gonna cut that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, actually, that works out pretty well. Okay, so the next color is 
L shape, which is light tangerine. Seven forty-two. I sure would like my hands to cooperate. Thank you. Even what are you two? I still don't know what the hell this person was thinking, trimming the skeins the way they did. So bizarre. It's just weird. Like, why? Why would you do that? Maybe there's a valid reason. Maybe they were doing a lot of work with like small amounts of color. It's still just weird though. Oh, interesting. Actually, whoopsie. With the shorter sections that I'm doing, I'm wondering if I should double that up like this. I don't know if that's going to be enough. It's less knots though. Oh, that's not much at all. Oops, put it in the wrong place. All right. The nice thing is if I make a mistake on this, it doesn't matter because, you know, no pizza has perfect toppings. I did enjoy the pizza I had the other day that had pineapple on it, but not anything other nasty. Okay, so this just goes, follows the same line as the brown. Oh, I just remembered something I need to do. I'll be right back. Won't be a bit, won't be a take.
Okay. Sorry, you're going to give Daisy your medicine. <sighs> I got all discombobulated by today being different. Oh, I like those colors on that blanket, Echo. Thank you. That yellow is like the same color as my walls. Oh boy. Yeah, the the purple and the yellow. Hi, Buckma. The the purple and the yellow would go very nicely in my room. Hey, look, how does that work? I take the Audi off, and now I'm too hot. I bet. Where to throw it? Oh no. Can you start it with a chain instead? Like a chain four and then just work into that instead? Sometimes my hands just won't cooperate for a magic loop. And honestly, sometimes starting off with a chain is more secure too. Oh, boo. So you've got to have like weird increases and shit too. Yes, absolutely. Always. I always want to see what you're working on. I'm making pizza, Buckma. But not, or well, the one that's high in fiber, but not the, the type of fiber you want to eat. Ooh, that is cute. I love that little, the little flower pattern at the bottom. Ash fiber, yeah, but don't eat it. I finally got, got the blanket sent off to Buckma today. I'm slowly working my way through things that I owe to send people. Everyone's been really lovely, but it's still stressing me out that it's outstanding. So I'm getting getting there slowly. I couldn't see cookies though. I'm sorry, I couldn't fit them in the box. I tried. No, it is nothing that you could prevent. Fuck my. Honestly, getting that sent off felt like really big progression because it was a large thing that was sitting in my room. I mean large, but I mean large, I mean like a lap blanket. But it's still, yeah. It's still progress.
And it's the last of this stitch. Oh, it looks so pretty on the back right now. What the hell? They won't last. It won't last at all. Yay. Well, I wanted to make sure I, I didn't I didn't want to send it off when you were um, with your mum. As well, so I wanted to wait until I knew you were home for a bit. Maybe Echo. Oh, your blanket may be being finished within a decade. They reckon it'll take like three days to get up there. So we'll, we'll see. It's probably going to arrive in May. That's all I can get out of it. Update the chat. yeah well the the original estimate they gave me was from the 24th which is when i printed the label and that was for three days so it's fun going into ups with a label that's already paid for because they're like uh it's like i'm literally just dropping it off everything else is done so I use a website called Pirate Ship to send everything and I get cheaper shipping rates than if I go to the post office. It's pretty good actually. How dare. But why would I want packing peanuts? I can't. Well, I guess depending on what they are, I can't eat some of them. I don't want them. All right, the little... Oh. Up arrow is what? Number 43, grapefruit yellow. I really need to figure out a way to organize. Oh, what's going on here? <laughs> I've got two tails. Oh, this floss feels rough. This doesn't feel like DMC at all.
Yeah, I've got all the, this like Ziploc bag full of floss, and I I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> you know, it's not that uncommon. Wait, three would be no. Never mind. Three would be curious. Who was like, wait. <clears throat> Never mind. It's it's been a week. I had a lot of fun playing RimWorld last night. The the frequent demise of Molly was was uh something though. Yeah, but all this embroidery floss, I have no idea how the fuck to manage it. Um, at all. Shy of getting a bunch of little plastic cards. I've now got to decide what. Oh no, that sounds exhausting. Are your neighbors not being, uh, not improving? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, no, that's totally fair. That's a hell of a bump in cry increase. A, a bump in price. Like, adding utilities as well. Are you looking to stay in the same area? Oh, hey, give. Yeah, that sounds less than great. I'm sorry you're dealing with that. That's no fun. It should help there. I 
Ah, uh, yeah, of course, yeah. So, shame if you were closer to where I've, I've got a, f a few friends who love up that way. I'm, I'm deliberately not mentioning even vaguely what way it is as well, by the way, to give you privacy. Um, but yeah, I have a, f a few friends who are sort of in that general area, but I don't know if they have any connections near where you are in terms of looking for places. Two months? That's not really very much, very much time, though. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to stress you out, but I was like, oh my god, two months? I'm not panicking. Wait, how do I do this again? Yeah. Yeah, so if you go for a place that's available now, you end up having to double dip. Well, hopefully the current landlord will uh, at least be decent with you and your deposits and stuff. That always seems like a bit of a crap shot. I was like, what is that popping sound? What? Oh! <laughs> Hi, Molly. Hello. Hi. How how the, how the, the uh, wastelands treat you today? Like bunched up there. Uh, I hate it. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, I know you're a professional, so that doesn't surprise me. Fucking eyes, seriously. This will all be so much easier when I get a new prescription. And, you know, I can see and stuff. In this economy, I know. Hi, Ravi. 
hope your earache is better today. Here. Oh, well, if if anyone hasn't checked uh, their respective pet channels and discords or mine, there's a little video that we got of Daisy's first uh, wheelchair zoom, and it's very cute. If you need a little serotonin boost for the day, that should do it. So, so much zoom. Oh no, I did that one around the wrong way. She, oh, she loved it, man. I, I was, I was a little worried. Um, like she's a really adaptable dog, but I was still just a little concerned. I didn't need to have been. <laughs> you literally can just do whatever you want. Oh no, that's a bugger. You soup at all the reactions. Thanks, but. She, she was very, very pooped by, by the time we pulled her back in. Um, but I just, she's got so much energy. I don't, I don't even know how she does it. So I, I need to make some adjustments to it, uh, to increase the height at the back. Um, just because it's not quite tall enough for her. But I think I can get some, I might be able to like go to the hardware store and just get some like little sort of aluminium pieces of metal and get it drilled. And then I'll just be able to like put them in just to like bump the height up. And I think that'll help. Because um, she kept on like, <laughs> kind of falling out. The problem is she's she still tries to move the way she did with all four zoomers and it you know, cornering. We've got some teething problems. Cornering isn't isn't the best in that. But we'll get there. But my favorite thing is how she just like we're going down the ramp and she just takes off at a 90 degree angle, face plants on the ground, stands up, shakes her head off, and then just carries off. It's like, damn dogs. It's how she is. Not even this is making me cross eyed today. One, two. Well, so if you're wondering why I'm making a pizza today, we have like a little hoodie sponsorship going on, um, which is a a a, a clicky licky. Linky, tracky, thanky, blinky. I was wearing it, but it's like 75 degrees in my room and I'm melting. Um, it's, I, I probably should have contemplated that first. But also maybe there isn't a reason to make to, you don't need a reason to embroider a pizza. I went through a, a bag of like random embroidery thread. I managed to find all the colors I needed or close enough to for pizza. We don't have to be exact. We're starting at that uh, angled line coming down, the 45 degree line. Yeah. 
food and tree or I can see. Ravi, I'm sorry your body is betraying you like that. It's very rude. <laughs> my fingers, my fingies aren't working. Damn it. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Thank you. This coat's in Clark. It's got like a different sheen on it too. Have you come across this stuff either? The Coats and Clark brand? I don't know if it's just like really old, but really old. It's older. It's just a bit rougher. And some of them have like um, price tags that it still have like, you know, the, the old ink stamped numbers. Where did I put it? <laughs> Your grandma used it. This is the bag. See how there's a bunch that's been like Cut short, like DMZs that have been cut short and braided. But there's a bunch of coats and clock in here too. I I don't even know. I have no idea how to manage manage this. But thankfully, I had about half of the colors I needed for this pattern were in here. And the rest I had just like like a number or two above or or below what the pattern called for. Yeah, I've not I've not used the coats and clark before. I just noticed it's got quite it's got a different sheen on it, and it's quite rough. Rough. Oh, and uh, the pattern's supposed to be on 16 count. But I'm doing it on 18. So what does that mean exactly? Shorter staple? Is there shorter threads in there? Oh, we have ads popping in 30 seconds. Time to stand up, stretch, get a drink, have a coffee. 
Shake some ale. And I'll see you all in a few minutes. Because I'm going to take a break too. Oh, well, ain't that handy dandy. Okay, that makes sense, Echo. Thank you for explaining that to me. I didn't know uh I didn't know there were other there was a sale on there at the moment either, Molly, so that's handy. Drax saw the pizza one I had on before and was like, uh, wait, can I get a pizza one? Pizza. I have my quokka one, so I I asked for a pizza one this time from them, so that when we have our two weeks, no, I I love it when you share information with me about stuff. Echo, I will never tell you to shut up. I got a pizza one, so Flint has one for our two weeks of winter too. I will never tell you to shut. And besides, I'm learning. I'm hanging out with cool friends and learning. Uh, it's the best. Ooh, I would, I, I did see the t-shirt sleepers and I was like, oh my God, that looks amazing. Well, thank you for clicking on the link. 
and getting yourself something. I instantly feel cooler and more refreshed because my tracking link was used. I think that's how it works, right? No, that that actually does help, Echo. A hundred percent helps. I honestly, when it's like really hot, I much prefer wearing a tee. I think just because it's like it, wicking. Yeah, this Coats and Clark floss is definitely feeling different. I can, I can feel it. I was surprised that I had the email from them actually, from Odie, because it's been a while since we last did a thing. I love that striped skirt that you wore, that I saw you wear last winter. Uh, last summer. It was super pretty. Three, four, five. I've just lost. Oh, God, I've lost my place. I need to tape this edge too, apparently. Masking tape for the win. Here we go. Now I might as well finish the rest of it as well as I can. I'm trying to decide what I want to do with my day tomorrow. The temptation there is to like skip all the housework, but if I skip all the housework, I still have to do it. <laughs> it just, I have to do it the next day. Ah, stop it. Tape, please. Oh, never mind. That piece of tape is a law. We'll consider that a practice piece of tape. <sighs> Stuck to itself in me.
<laughs> yeah. There we go. Now we won't have to worry about it unraveling. Shoulda, 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 shoulda just done that to start off with. I'm like, wait, what are they? Oh, those do look nice. It's a Barbie one. I like that one. Oh, you can't see it. Fuck off. You could fuck off. I like the stars on the, the planets. My little window capture isn't really helping me a lot here. Which picture would go up any larger? Okay. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, where is two, three, four, five, Up over to this side. If it was really v very rebellious, starting at like the the top left rather than the middle, I'm such a rebel. I am. I'm a rebel with too many clauses. I'm a rebel with cause paralysis. So I saw there's a uh, a movement to the fe all fems to strike on the twenty fourth of June, I think it is, over the uh, Roe v Wade thing. They're calling it a woman's strike, but I was like, well. Seems like a good deal to me. Three, four, five. Five. Anyone with reproductive rights ought to be protesting. Well, for the lack of reproductive rights. Hello, fingers work, please. Ankle. I, mean, I think my fingers are all just angry at me because of all the fiddling with Daisy's harness. Oh. 
Well, I forgot I had ice in my bottle. Sure. Sure a bit, but it comes down here. Here. I definitely don't like this coats and collect red. Apparently, I'm a floss snob. Air, I think. I do really like that this pattern came with a coloured and a non-coloured chart. It really helped with figuring out where I wanted the colours to be. Um, yeah, we gotta get there. Oh, for fuck's sake.
Hmm. All right, which color do we want to do next? I can't tell if I'm moving from the right to the left or the right down. I guess I'm working right to left, which makes, I guess, some sense. That's All right. So the upside down U is gray. This is one of the ones where I actually did have the color. Oh, see, it just feels so much nicer, even just the air. Just pulling the floss out of the skein. Give me yeah. I don't even think I could do a pin stitch on this stuff because it's so small. I genuinely think after doing the tails at the front of the back, I genuinely prefer starting the tail at the front. Such small square.
I just realized I keep holding my work like right under the uh, the picture up there. That's not helpful because you can't see what I'm doing. Grey isn't the first colour you think of when you think of pizza topping, really. At least it's a Flint pizza. Well, those were nasty. Oh, heck. Um, sorry, my... Chat paused itself again, so I just missed a bunch. Um... <sighs> a pin stitch. Grey stuff is delicious. The pin stitch is where you start, like, it's really good for... Uh, small stitches, but we you start with if you've got a single one, you would do like a half stitch, but you start in the middle of a square and then do half a leg, and then you go back and you do the other half a leg, and it kind of anchors the, the floss in place. I don't know why my chat keeps pausing. I don't mean to ignore you. I don't know if it has another name. It's good for when you're doing like little, like where you've just got what, like one or two colors, like one or two squares of a color off on its own. I don't, I don't think gray stuff is delicious. Yeah, that works too. I did that for something in here. Their, their reference is lost on me too. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Oh, 
They wanted me to use black for the rest of the olives, but I have this dark gray that I think will be better. Oh, why? See, now the floss is all. Glass is all crimped. I don't know how many years it's been like this. I guess the length's not as short as I thought it was, but it's still. Excellent. It's still pretty short. I'm breaking fruit. <clears throat> My hands are pissing me off. Okay, there we go. Part of the problem is the nails as well. Oh, it doesn't give you much to work with. Funny enough, I couldn't find any black, but then olives are like gray rather than black anyway. And I am loving this monitor. There's so many pixels.
may have to rearrange things though because i sent the ultra wide as a as my portrait monitor on the side but it's just a bit no uncomfy where it is What? I was like, ha ha, I'll finish this in one stream. Showdown. Don't you do it. Because the thing about these shorter lengths is it just ends up with play. I guess it looks like an olive. Um, there. What's that? Oh, was it eight o'clock? Mm -hmm. Eight o'clock. <laughs> that was my reminder to put out the trash and do my journal entry for the day. Also, I was going around telling everyone that the wrong week for anniversary stream stuff. I was telling everyone it was seventh to the fourteenth. It's actually the 14th to the 21st. Yeah. So your calendar's not wrong, it was my calendar that was wrong.
I don't know why I was off by a week. I mean, I, I could do it a week earlier. Yes. This will this will be fine. Does it does it mess with your plans, Sadie? Oh, okay. So it means that potentially the 24 hour stream will be Monday 13th to Tuesday 14th. No. Monday the 20th to the 21st. It's going to be a weird day to do a 24 hour stream. <sighs> Because that fits it in between anniversary of first stream and then like the week later I got affiliate. So that's that week bridging there. I keep seeing my hands and being like, whose hands are those? I have disassociation because of my nails. I was also loosely contemplating a reverse subathon. So basically starting at 24 hours and then for every sub or whatever that comes in, taking time off the clock rather than putting it on. Where, I mean, I was going to do a 24 hour stream anyway. Like, with Work. I don't even know if I could make a
my thing to make that work. I don't know if looking more is so nice and tidy in the back, and it's already a dog's breakfast. It's a very cheesy pizza. Now I'm immediately suspicious. Man, I don't trust chat now. Like, chat display. I don't think I've ever cross stitched food before. It still seems sort of excessive sideways as bookmark, but...
What am I doing? There. Well, welcome back. Yes. Just just realizing that I was I had the dates off for anniversary stream by the way. So it's the fourteenth to the twenty first. Yeah. <laughs> Not the seventh to the fourteenth. But at least I figured it out now and it gives me an extra week to plan. Because I was panicking a bit. little bit Yeah, that's me. You need a panic? I can help. You're not sure about the reverse 24 hour stream over here? Right. So people might want me to stop. <laughs> I'll pay you to stop streaming. Shut up, Dal. Oh well, I can see the cat. So, like, I'll, I'll, like, guarantee that I'll stream like X period. Because I mean, I've tried to do like a streamathon type thing where it adds time to the clock. Yeah, uh, it's never really worked. I don't know if I've just never marketed it, advertised it well, or we just don't have. Don't really have the like the viewers which i you know i think helps where you know you say you know like you'll add a minute and then like three people sub and that's it yeah exactly so what i what i was thinking was echo was basically start it start the clock at 24 hours but basically for any donations or bits or subs whatever come in it takes time off the clock down to like i don't know like eight hours or something which is what my normal stream would be but, but thank you for banana care yeah <laughs> but, but yeah so I'd, I'd still have like an eight hour thing but you know like the, i they came to mind because everyone in flint stream with you know everyone enjoys watching himself up you guys don't want to watch me suffer. It's weird, but I I don't know if I could make the timers go backwards anyway. I mean, the plan was to do a twenty four hour stream, so it's not like it was just a thing in my head. No, I know that. I mean, I've I've agreed willingly. Flint, <laughs> I have, have willingly agreed to do the twenty four hour stream because I know I can stop whenever I want. So it's not a big deal. And who knows? Maybe I can swear at another streamer again. Fuck, man. Thank you. No. No, there's no obligation. It's just a a gimmicky thing. Not at all. Honestly, like last time I was fine as long as I had 
as long as I've got company to keep me engaged. And if I do the same as I did last year, so basically I start, if I start at like seven, seven o'clock, six o'clock or seven o'clock, probably seven, that allows me to get up and do stuff during the day, have a nap, and then it means if I start at 7, potentially I end at 7 p.m. So it's kind of near the evening anyway. So if I do go to bed straight away, I'm fine. It doesn't fuck up my schedule. In fact, last time I ended up staying up until like 11 o'clock anyway because I was buzzing. Um, and then the next day I was fine. I had a proper a normal sleep and I don't even get sick. But yeah, the company is key. The company is, I can't do it if I don't have someone keeping me company. Surprise me, actually. May have to come up with like a roster. What is this one again? The little hazard thing. A lot of that is there. There. Strand. But no, the idea of doing the 24 is just, you know, just a thing. And honestly, I'd rather not have it tied to, to a certain amount because whenever I've done that, I've just got disappointed. Right, we have ads starting in less than 30 seconds. So that's a good time to stand up, stretch, get a coffee, put your work down, do some self care, and we'll see you in a few minutes. I too am going to take a break. Right now, I'm going. I'm going to go take a break. So there.
Yikes. Okay. Are we I don't know, maybe there's something to be said about starting from the top corner and working down. Cheesy olives. Well, that sounds like a, a friendly expletive, doesn't it? Oh, cheesy olives. Oh, I'm cross-eyed looking at this. That, that bit down. Oh, there's a little bit over here too. Perfect. Set 
Right. And was it somewhere else? Yeah, there was. So there. It is starting to look like a thing. Surprisingly quickly. If you could pay, thank you. Four, five. I love my little needle holder, my needle minder. I was pretty, I, I looked at a bunch of different patterns um, and I found this one just before stream actually and I'm like, oh, this is perfect. I like the colors on it. Yeah, it's a bookmark. So it like slips over the corner of a page. Like uh, the end of an envelope would like slip over the top corner. <laughs> yeah, but it solves so many problems.
Like, you don't lose your place. You have a snack. And, uh... Oh, I, I don't have anything else. I genuinely thought I'll just do cross stitch for a couple of hours and then do some crochet. Yeah, it sure is. It's a thing. What is it? Oh, error. <laughs> It's the caramel color, right? Oh, that's the other yellow. I'm so tired of yellow already. I'm like, please, game, come on. I'm saying game. <laughs> Why is this cheesy pizza so full of yellow? <laughs> how, how dear. There's, there's literally like three shades of yellow and I'm just like, oh, yellow. 
What the fuck? Look. You're a hundred percent true. There is no lie in what you say. Okay, these are pretty good stretch of a color. Man, I really enjoyed playing Old Sparks the other day. And then I saw in the updates. They're planning on adding like some more cool sort of automation stuff. Like trains and shops. And I don't know what any of that stuff is for the game, but it sounds really cool. Ooh, what are you having for dinner? And where's mine? Oh, yummy. I don't know what we're doing for dinner tonight. We had a, a big lunch. Actually, I have leftovers from lunch for dinner. So, I don't know. Normally on Mondays, I'll, like, do one of my my slow cooker meals so i sort of put that in around lunchtime for dinner and that way i can just you know get stuff done or, or relax and not have to worry about anything Yeah, I've got some buttermilk, chicken breast, uh, a whole piece of chicken breast on the fridge, so that's an instant sandwich. Or if I'm feeling really lazy, I could just like cut it up and dip it in barbecue sauce.
Our Dairy Queen doesn't do any of the fried stuff. Sucks. I've come to the conclusion, like, around here, the best, the place that does the best garlic parmesan sauce, annoyingly, is um, Domino's on their chicken wings. Infant laughs when I get it, because I will, I will literally lick the sauce off the box, because it's so yummy. So I need to find a, a copycat recipe. But all the other places nearby, their parmesan sauces, all the garlic sort of parmesan, always tastes like some sort of funky tartar sauce, or it's just like buttery, but there's no garlic flavor. Well, it's my coffee broken. I broke my coffee again, yeah. I broke my water too. I think I would have learned my lesson last time. No. Oh, no. That's one of the few topics that I probably won't joke about. By the way. I was a bit slow on the uptake there. Yeah. Hi, Star. I'm good, thank you. Now I'm thinking about dinner. That is dark. Dinner at nine o'clock, yeah? Well, actually, I was up at 8.30 this morning, so I actually had, like, lunch at lunchtime for the first time in a while. Oh, God, I've got hiccups now. Um... been here out for dinner. I don't know why. Why do I have to? Oh, it's cool enough. I might be able to just get my door open actually. Oh. We'll see. Oh. Yeah, don't get we uh we had a little little sponsorship going on. Hence the uh the Udi logo in the corner. And and that. Uh your grandparents on your dad's side, 4 p.m. dishes are done after dinner. Yeah, my my grandparents would have dinner.
think around five ish so that granddad could have all the dishes done in time for the news so he could then relate have, go watch the news which came on at six and at seven he'd go back through and you know back to his back room and he'd work on his art or whatever and rest for the evening that was like the divider line between like the family and then his alone time and then he'd have a snack or something in the evening like nine or ten o'clock like bread and cheese or something there's something to be said for like just a, th a thick piece of fresh bread and a slab of cheese as a snack so good but yeah also if anyone in here if you haven't clicked that link you don't have to buy anything but if you click on that link it's a tracking link it makes me look cool and i need all the help i can get Drag said he clicked it a thousand times, so I I don't feel a thousand times cooler, but hey. Wouldn't even lie. Or something. You don't need to click it a thousand times. No, it doesn't make any difference. Unfortunately, no. And it real it only works if you have cookies turned on too. It just registers as like a unique visit. Um from your particular IP. But one of the one of the metrics that a lot of sponsors look at is how many like how much engagement people have um with things like this. So even just doing a little click here and there. Uh yeah, yeah, that might work. Um but yeah, like basically the the more unique visits I, I get the more likely I am to get more sponsorships for stuff. One of the things I've tried to get better at doing is just like saying, hey, like click on the link, wishlist the game, do the thing. It helps. So they're not like, it's not an affiliate link, but it is just, you know, just tracks unique visits. One, two, three. Okay, we'll go one, two. I still keep on get I I'm getting disassociation. I keep on thinking these aren't my hands. <laughs> this isn't my hand. Someone else has bright pink nails.
that. And then... Oh, this, this, this loss is gross. There. Oh, well. Wow. It's not like it's a very large project. But you can feel the, like, as it pulls through the ida. You can hear the difference. Oh, maybe tomorrow I'll try Mana Lords. That's on Game Pass. Maybe I'll... I'll be a rebel again. And uh, play a game off stream for myself. We'll see. Chances are I'll just end up sitting around doing cross stitch in and watching Downton Abbey again. <laughs> Oh, darn. I, I actually, they sent me this really cool one. This year they sent me this pizza one. And it looks really red on the screen. It's got like little slices of pizza on it. It's really cute. So I got this for, uh, this so I could share it with, because I've got another one with a quokka on, so I got this for Flint. Hypothetically, oh, that is amazing, Echo. Hyp hypothetically, well, there's there's sleep teas in there as well, Stone. It's not just big, thick, fluffy sweaters. There's oversized t-shirts that are cute as heck too. But thank you for clicking. I appreciate it. Yeah, I had this on, but it's it's pretty warm. It's like mid twenties here, so it's. <laughs> I had it on for a couple of hours, and I was just like, "I'm too hot." Even with ice water, I was like, "Ugh." Instead, I just had to whoop these. Show it off. So that thing comes down to my knees. Very nice for snuggling up in winter. That's it. It's important to sleep however you're comfy, right? It makes such a difference. Uh. Honestly, when it's hot like it is in Florida, I much prefer sleeping with like cotton PJs. Like, um, a, a tank top and pants or tank top and shorts and cotton. And apparently, it it works out well that way because it actually the cotton helps like wick the sweat away from your skin, and you end up with a bit of evaporative cooling if you're sweaty. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm definitely finding myself getting more sweaty as I get older, so... Oh, menopause bullshit slowly creeping up on me. Oh. oh, I love that though. I I love if if my room can be like fucking freezing, I am so happy. Absolutely love it. I have I have in my in my room in here. I have a pillow that's got like a gel, like a cooling gel pad on it, and I absolutely adore it. I don't have one in our bedroom, but... The only thing problem I have is that it's, for some reason it's a shorter pillow than a standard size. Which is kind of annoying, but... But yeah, Flint is like a radiator. So there's definitely been times where I've, I'll just come and I've got my bed made up in here. I don't sleep in here very often, but there's been times where I'll just uh, switch over and sleep in here just because it's more comfy temperature wise. And as well, as I've got, as I put on more weight, my temperature runs higher as well, which is frustrating. Hate being hot. <laughs> no, I hate being hot. I just, it's awful. It's, I'm so miserable when I'm overheating. Like I need, I really need to get the lawns done this week and I'm not looking forward to it because the temperatures are already pushing like the 30s. And that's just not right. <laughs> Unfortunately, when it's cool, that's when I don't need to do the lawns because the grass ain't growing. Rude. Actually, no, I don't mind being hot. I just don't like sweating. I don't like the way that sweat feels on my skin at all. It's now hot enough that just doing the dishes in the kitchen gets the sweats going. Jerk weather. Like, how dare. Apparently I may have to get up in a hurry because we have a delivery coming in. Yeah, I don't know if it's something that Flint ordered or If it's food or something, but he said to keep an ear out.
Occasionally get Amazon deliveries this late, which is kind of irksome. Actually, that reminds me, I need to check. I've got some liquid band aid coming in for Daisy. Apparently, it is still still out for delivery, and it's it's not arriving from the post office at nine o'clock at night. Yeah. Post office only does package deliveries out here on Sundays. But I've got some liquid, I've got some antiseptic spray and uh, some liquid bandage for her feet. A little shit. Being a pain in the butt. And see the camera so as long as I can see Daisy dash to the door her um her bark has got smaller now it's a lot less loud than it used to be I'm guessing because she doesn't have the lung volume so she sounds like a, a seal pup and it's really fucking cute we had a delivery driver who was just like, oh my god, your dog sounds adorable. I'm like, I know. Like, I'm, it, it's sad, but also it's cute. You gotta make hay while the sun shines. Yes. If anyone here is wondering about the pattern I'm working on, by the way, that's it there. There's a bunch of other variants as well. But uh, buy beware, it's Etsy. You know how dangerous Etsy is. It's a wilderness out there. This person, they've got really, they've got their passion they send out in with symbols and colors and then symbols on black and white, which is really lovely. It's going to be a wedge of tomato, I think. Oh, yeah? I, w I have been thinking about that. I got... What, what stage are you on? <laughs> I got I got held hold up on um, amphibians, I think. I'm in the amphibian stage. It's such a fun little game though, it's so rewarding. I'm 
Yeah. Well, I, Ali's not played since they first. Um, just for a few days. I had it running in the background when I was watching shows last week, I think. Just sort of idling along and doing its own thing. Oh, we're finding into some red. Yeah, it's not uh, the process of moving. It's a bit painful. We the, the where we where we are now is the the third or well, the second move to the third location. I have no desire to do it again. The rain is so cool. Sorry, I'm just like keeping an eye on the thing. The I think the biggest change, the the most rewarding change, I think, is once trees was in, or trees fauna was growing. I think. Wait, no, not fauna, flora. I don't know. Trees, maybe trees. When vines started appearing, fauna's animals. Can't remember. It was really cool though. I tell you what, I love doing the cross stitch, but it makes my shoulders, in between my shoulders, hurt. And I already had a crick in my neck when I woke up this morning. I'm assuming it's just bad posture in doing this. But it's like right in between my shoulder blades. It took me a couple of days to realize, because I thought it's almost like just above my bra strap, I thought maybe my bras were getting done up too tight. And then Flint's like, it's after your craft streams. It's like, oh, I, whoops. So my neck I did last night, I just slept funny because I'm an old person. Okay. Uh, what is the one that looks like a clapperboard? Bright red, 817. It is nice. It's so good as well once you get the uh, breathing mask. Um, Sorry, once you get oxygen and you don't need to breathe. I mean, you still obviously need to breathe, but, you know, like you're not having to worry about that. But yeah, I left it like running idle the other day and I wasn't worried about um I just ignored the fact that I was dying, so I just like stand in my house and just <laughs> die, respawn, die, respawn, die, respawn. That two strands? No, that's three. Ugh. I, uh... Oh, hang on. I think we've got someone at the door. I'll be right back.
I'm imagining things. Phantom noises in my head. All right. I'm pretty excited about adding in some color. Hello, eyeballs. I would like you to work, please. Thank you. I don't know what we if I've got anything fixed on the schedule for games next week. I did really enjoy Rimworld yesterday. It was kind of fun. And I'm enjoying I I don't want to stop playing Vendor Story, but I might have to do a a single player play for playthrough for a bit. So we can have a play with some mods that aren't on the uh, server. I don't know, what I have to say. It was pretty weird this week not having a fixed plan on what I was playing. Boundary. Wait a minute. Beard. <laughs> Beard. <laughs> Foundry, Foundry. I feel like maybe I put in for that somewhere. Uh, yes, but not too much because it's salty. And as long as there's no bones. Boundary. Oh, it's not on key mailer. But yeah, we we give ours a little 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 bit as a treat, or like the fat. Boundary. Who do I? Boundary game. Who's publishing that? Oh, that, that's Paradox. Wait, is that the one that I just, that I posted in Drax's? No, that was Revive and Prosper. It's not Foundry. I know I've seen it somewhere. Paradox. Damn it, now I've got to look. I have ads starting soon, by the way. Did I, did I play it? No, it's not on Loki. Drake's played it on the stream? Maybe that's what I was thinking. I don't think I have Prison Architect. Oh, okay. Now we have a delivery. I can hear Daisy. Won't be a bit, won't be a tech.
All right. Oh, that was good timing, wasn't it? Uh. I know I've seen it somewhere. On one of the key sites, but I can't remember. Maybe on terminals. There's so many of these key sites for streamers. It gets gets a lot half of the time i forget them entirely and then you've got all like the individual developers who have their programs too all right when we're back from ads apparently what flint had ordered was dinner I have no idea what it is. Let me search. Oh, it's not on terminals. Oh, wow. I didn't know she streamed. Okay, well, hey, apparently it's time for dinner and Flintine did stream, so. I think I might wrap up too. I know it's early, but I'm more likely to eat properly if I actually stop. Um, so next week, said not sure what we're going to do. Something. We're going to do something. Maybe RimWorld. Maybe Foundry. If I can figure out where I can uh, put in for a key for, maybe we, we luck out. It may be Foundry. Um, I'm waiting to hear back about the Nebraska DLC for American Truck Sim. I may or may not get a key for that at some point. I think there's a something coming out for Conan Exiles, which means there'll be a creator program thing for that. I don't know. Uh, um, I think I'm going to send you over to Soma. It looks like they're ending soon, maybe? I don't know. Or they're just cheating. They're playing Manor Lords. Looks interesting. No, you! You! Yeah, I think it should be starting up, starting soon. Yeah, I'm gonna go have dinner. Um, I'm gonna send you guys over to Soma Textra. They are really lovely. They're playing Man Lords. Their stream is just always... know fun it's a there's a a little sort of susan of chaos about soma which makes their streams enjoyable um i'm gonna fuck off now i will see you guys in a couple of days keep your eyes uh peeled wait are they actually ending hang on a second Oh, I think they are ending. I don't know. We're just going to raid them and that's fine. Uh, so yeah, I... No, no oh, idea what we're doing next week. <laughs> we'll just, we'll find out next week. Keep an eye on Discord. We might post some more pictures of, of Daisy's wheelchair adventures. Um, so yeah. Okay, I'm going now. Oh, here, here's the raid calls.
You should copy paste those. Okay, bye. <laughs>